Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Leaderboard Spotlight presented by Morning Chalk Up. Hopefully you guys have had enough time to rest and recoup from the 2019 Open, especially after how brutal 19.5 was. And even though we won't have official results and qualifiers till probably the end of the month, I wanted to give you guys some numbers to take a look at that I think sums up the 2019 Open pretty well. This year in the Open, we had a total of 15 different movements included in the programming. And I included the required rest in 19.4 as a movement because, in my opinion, it was an integral piece in how the workout played out. If you were a time cap crusader and hit each one of the five time caps, including the initial one in 19.2, that means you had 65 minutes of working time in this year's Open, which is actually a three minute increase from last year, but we've been consistently hovering around the one hour mark work-wise. If you haven't been training classic CrossFit couplets, well then you're doing yourself a pretty big disservice because we saw four of them in the Open this year, including the two for one couplet special in 19.4. It didn't prevent Castro from throwing in a new wrinkle though because for the very first time, we saw three new movements included in a single Open workout in 19.3 with the dumbbell overhead lunge, the box step ups, and the strict handstand push ups that basically ended everyone's life, myself included. And when you combine it with the new format of 19.4, the addition of the 33 and 27 rounds in 19.5, it made for a pretty solid collection of open workouts this year. Now, despite this breadth and programming, one thing is still very clear, and that's that Matt Fraser is the man to beat, and his 2019 open performance is special for a handful of reasons. If he holds on to the top spot overall, it would be his fourth career open win, which is the most all time. His wins in 19.3 and presumably 19.5 would give him six worldwide open workout wins, which moves him into fourth all time in that category. A win in 19.5 would be his fourth career week five workout win and his third straight dating back to 2017, giving him a career average finish in week five of the open of fourth. And after 19.1, he had the best stretch of open workout finishes in his career, earning just seven points across four weeks which ties Rich Froning from back in 2012 for the lowest four week total in open history. Now all of this happens despite the fact that he already had an invite locked up in Dubai back in December, despite the fact that he admitted to me on Talking Elite Fitness in our interview a couple weeks ago that he did zero fitness and took a month to a month and a half off leading up into the open and was out of shape for 19.1. And still, he walks away from the 2019 open on top with four full months to prepare for the CrossFit Games in August, where right now it looks like he is unstoppable on his path to a fourth consecutive CrossFit Games title. That does it for this edition of the Leaderboard Spotlight, presented by The Morning Chalk Up. Thank you all so much for following along throughout the Open. If you haven't already, go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Inside Elite Fitness, subscribe to our podcast, Talking Elite Fitness, which you can find on all platforms. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the Leaderboard.